extremely hurt locker room. You know, I thought our guys uh, really competed. They played their tails off. Um, played the game the right way. You know, I think some people questioned that um, late in the game the last week. There's no question in that today. Uh, competed until the finally, final play. We're beat up. We were beat up pretty good coming in. A lot of guys didn't play. Um, and then we lost several more during the course of the game, but it was the next man up. Whoever played in the game competed. And uh, I'm proud of how they played. We're based on outcomes. I get that. Outcome wasn't what we wanted. Um, but I'm proud with how they play. You know, and, and people can be upset with me. I'm fine. But they can't question how those guys played today. They can be frustrated with me. Hey, it's fine. But they, there, there shouldn't be any ill will with those kids today because they competed and they played. And, and I'm proud of them. I thought defensively, starting there, our second half was the best we played since Virginia Tech. Um, we made plays. Made a lot of plays. And um, offensively, we were productive. But we just, you know, you, you get the ball after Ruffin's pick, and we got to do something about it. And we didn't even give ourselves a chance to go for it on fourth down. I mean, we went backwards. You know, that, that's the, probably the most disappointing drive we've had all year. Um, we just didn't make enough plays in the second half offensively. And, and that's the side that we've, that we've really depended on all year, and we just didn't come through in that game. And, and that's a good football team. Credit, credit Sonny, credit uh, that team. They found a way. Um, but we gave them everything they wanted and had chances to win a game, three-point game. We get the ball just, I think it was a little under four minutes. And um, – with a real chance and, and don't take advantage of it. So that part of it is disappointing, but I am I am very pleased with uh with how we with how we played. All right. How we played, not the outcome. We tape all this. Y'all ain't got to film with your phones. We we tape we tape all this and send it to you. So you talked about the offense. One game was a tale of two halves. You ran it real effective the first half not the second. Can you put a finger? Yeah, so they do a really good job. You know, that's the good thing about how they play defense is they're able to make some adjustments because they don't move their pieces. Their pieces are what it was. Um, we got away from it probably a little bit because our running back room is so beat up. And, and that's not critical on Graham. Our running back room is beat up. You know, Justin and CJ practiced a little bit this week, but not a whole lot. They come in, CJ gets hurt. Um, he, get, he got hurt bad in, in the second half. Um, Justin, who's beat up coming in the game, um, is not playing full speed. Um, and so our run game in the second half was limited because we just didn't have a whole lot of people. And so um, probably a couple things we could have done different if you, if you get the opportunity, but you don't. Um, but some of that's their answers too, Greg. They, they had some answers. They came down and played more of an eight-man box against us. You know, For the most part all year, we ran the ball better against them in the first half than anybody that they played this year. OK, and schematically, we did some things differently than what we've shown on film. So we had some good answers for them. And then they basically in the second half played eight man box and, and changed the front for really the first time all year. The, the changes you make counters and, and pulling people. Yeah, the and they played that three man front. And so what you try to do is you try to you try to get some numbers, you know, and, and we were trying to get some angles. Obviously, we had the new guards in there. So we wanted to do that. Um, and they run covered and they're athletic. So. We did that, you know, and, and effective. You know, it's, we didn't have – we had a couple negative runs in the second half. The one the one on second and ten on the last drive, that killed us because we had every intention of going for it on fourth down. But when it gets to like fourth and whatever it was, 14-15, you know, they ain't very good odds. The third fourth down deal uh, where you guys got stopped, um, tried the goal line fade, was that – did you like your matchups there? Well, the third down should have been a run. You know, and then, and then pass interference. If somebody can, can tell me what that is, let me know. Let me know. Because if that's not pass interference, I don't know what it is. You know, and, and I just I, – I don't know. Like, if our kid doesn't have a chance to make a play, it's got to be pass interference. Um, the third down was supposed to be a run. Yeah, the third down was supposed to be a run. Um, we were going forward on fourth down right there. That was kind of our mentality going in the game. We knew we had to score touchdowns to win. Um, the last drive of the game hurts, but I think – you know, some some we weren't as successful inside the 10 as we needed to be. Um, and, and that's really what came back to bite us. But I thought that was pass interference. Um, I'll watch it on tape and I'll still think that was pass interference because it was right in front of my face. Um, and I'm just real confused about what it is. Is there any thought to kicking it deep with a little over four minutes left instead of the onside nah. late? Now, nah, you know, that didn't even matter, Mike. 
you know what I mean? It did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It didn't it didn't matter at all. But I but Casey Leg is one of the best onside kick. Like if you all came to our practice, you would and that's that's that is the that is the least successful I've ever seen one kicked from him. And but he's the best I've ever seen. So I would do it again because we had three timeouts and uh we felt really good about that. If you remember against Texas, we kind of ran the counter off the one we ran against Texas and it it just wasn't a good kick. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't a good kick, but I but I would I would play that the same way again. You know, the idea of scoring touchdowns but led you to go for the fourth down instead of taking the field goal attempt. And yeah, that. that's that's the one that, that Keenan was asking about. Yeah, and so the third down is JT checked out. We had a run play we felt really good about. Um, and But going into the game, we were going to go four downs down there. Yeah, that was, that was the intention. Um, you know, it's easy to sit there and say, well, it's a three-point game, yeah. But that would have changed how they played also. You know what I mean? That would have changed kind of how they handled some things late in the game. I felt like touchdowns were going to win it, and and we were going for a touchdown there. Um, and like I said, we'll look at the pass interference. Early in the third quarter, the, the fumble punt recovery that you guys mm-hmm. got, um, it was obviously kind of a weird play. Got reviewed, I'm sure, a couple times. Um, can you just kind of take me through that scenario? Like what you saw, did you think it was going to be called the way it was? And then obviously – Yeah, it got called the right way because first it's a really hard – hard play to, to officiate. Um, and I'm really not sure because the, the guys on my sideline couldn't tell me what they were reviewing. So I don't know if it was inadvertent touching. Um, I don't really know what they were reviewing. It took a while. I thought they got it right. That's the drive that really bothers me. We settled for a field goal. We had momentum. That's the drive that really bothers me. For you guys, just a matter of tackling and covering better the second half. Where, where was the improvement nah, there? Just played. We were more aggressive, more aggressive. You know, we won. We won a bunch of one on ones. Um, we pressured them more than they were probably expecting. You know, so we had some numbers in the box, and, uh, and like I said, I'm proud of those guys. I thought they made plays. They they went down and and they were challenged all week, and and I thought they they came to play in the second half. You know, their defense is different in the second half, you said. So you guys probably try to do something to counter off of that. What was maybe not as good or as effective? Yeah, you know? well, the run game, it's hard, man, because when those running backs go out and those other guys just don't have a lot of practice time, Mike. And so um, it was probably us getting away from it a little bit just because we didn't have reps with those other guys as, as much as, 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 J, as CJ and Justin. Schematically, we went – when they started playing the, the eight-man front, we went to some zone schemes. Um, and we had a couple good plays, especially uh, in the third quarter going toward um, the facility here with some outside zone. And then they ran through. And I don't know who did that on the on the second and ten play there. Um, they ran through and made a good play. We didn't have – we should have we had an, we should have had a body for it. Um, I couldn't tell from my point of view where we didn't make it. But that that was a big play. We didn't play well in the past game in the second half. I said we didn't play well enough in the second half. And, you know, we, if, you, if you go back and really, and really think about it, we threw the ball downfield and we had some just misses, you know. And, uh, um, you know, so we had, some, we had some things open. You know, schematically it felt good about, you know, the past plays we had and we, and we got some guys open. We just, we just didn't connect on, on, on some of those downfield shots. Yeah, and Gmitter, yeah, I'm not sure. Nestor, I think, will be back next week. He'll play. Um, you know, I thought that they they got more pressure on us in the second half with a three-man rush than they should have. Um, without watching it, it's hard to say where that came from. Um, it's really hard to say where that came from. I'll be able to tell you better on Tuesday. Um, but, you know, we ran for 155 yards on those guys, which is quite a bit more than they've been giving up. Um and so, you know, they played good enough, but I don't, I don't, I, it's hard for me to judge guards, you know, until, until I watch it on film. First half, talking about here, they're big plays. Uh, obviously, you guys were able to answer uh, a lot of times, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, frustrating. Fact, yeah, I mean, a lot of them were inside that, runs, too. Forth, I mean, does it change, you know, thinking strategy wise when they're just. Well, so we lost Malinger there early in the game. Um, and we played Raleigh Collins and Naeem Muhammad, and neither one of those guys had played a lot. And, and 
you know, just with the on-field view, I thought they did some good things, you know, and I'll watch it on film and, and, and they'll obviously play it a lot moving forward if Davis can't come back, which it doesn't look good for him. Um, so, basically, we were in a lot of drop eight, and we just didn't do a good job leveraging the football. You know, the, the frustrating ones are the long runs. You know, you're going to hit some passes. Um, I'm not real sure what happened in the third quarter on the long one. You know, I think we had a miscommunication. But the frustrating ones are the long runs, you know, especially the one right before half. You know, that kind of that, – that burns you. Um, and we just didn't leverage the football very well. I think we were misaligned on one of them um, on the front. Um, but in the second half, we came out and we just – then we blitzed more than we've been blitzing, played more man coverage than we have. And they hit us on some plays, you know, but we also made some plays. You know, more TFLs. That looked like more like the way we've played defense here in the past. Do you know how CJ is doing now? I've left the game a couple times. Yeah, he, he, he's not – yeah, he's he's not good. He's got a lower leg injury, and, and we'll see. But I, I don't think it's going to be good. You said that Jalen Anderson would get an opportunity. How tough of a spot is that for him when he comes in 34-31 yeah. in the late stages with his inexperience? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's tough. But at that point, that was that was who we had, you know. But it is tough for him. First, first significant action. Um, we felt, like I said, we were going to go with CJ and Justin. Jalen was going to be the third, um, and he got forced into action. And you got to be ready when you when your numbers call. But it is tough. In fairness to him, it's. JT affected any by the. I don't want to call it an injury, but where he got banged up at the end of the Texas Tech game and other. Yeah, you'd have to ask him. I don't think so, but you'd have to ask. You'd have to ask him. He practices all week, yes. Get him. Your quarterback run, quarterback power, did nothing for them until that fourth down conversion. Mm -hmm. I, I would think that would probably be the last play that they would go to in a situation like that because it hadn't worked the whole time. Well, he's so big. That, that's, that's where they're a challenge offensively is the quarterback's big and strong and fast, so there's a dual threat there. And then Keandre Miller, when you play a reduced box and you bring guys in from the side, they're having to tackle 225 pounds, you know, so he's always going to fall forward. And then um, – and number one's a legit – you know, he's a dude. And and we let um, – 18 had a big – three big plays against – two big – really big plays against us, you know, and he's long. He hadn't made those type of plays until, you know, really until uh, today. Um, you know, so they're a tough matchup, you know. They scored 38 or more every game. You know, and we were sitting there at 34, and they hit the, you know, the last play there. Okay, anything else for Coach? You know, like, the, yep. the effort sounds like you're, you're pretty pleased with that, too. Um, that, uh, that has to be constant, I'm guessing. Does that become yeah. difficult when the, the result isn't there? The you know, I, I don't know. To me, it's about you just go and do your job. You know, and, like, if you go and watch it, that, that, that was the, the thing about – at the end of the game versus Texas Tech, I went. It wasn't the whole game, but at the end of the game, like we didn't play as well as or as hard as we should have. Um, but that hasn't been the case now. You know what I mean? Like that hasn't been the case, and and our guys competed today. They competed their tails off. They're hurt. There's a high level investment, and TCU's got a good football team. Outcome wasn't what we wanted to. You know, did we play good enough to win? No, the answer is no. Did we play hard enough to win? Absolutely, yes. Yeah.